I thought we weren't allowed to do this anymore. Um, wow, I saw the button enable flash. And my mind immediately went to Macromedia. Why would I not be doing a live chat? Oh, wow. I guess what I'm wondering is, um, what sort of, well, pretty much everything. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. Yes. I think that's about right. <clears throat> Forgive me for a sec. There we go. I can't see. Okay. Dance party. Glamour. Wow. Glamour. Wow. I guess this is going to be limited to 1080 or to 720 feet. Looks astonishingly good though. Wow. I forgot to do something that I needed to do. So let's see what happens if I go away very fast. Can't, it defaults to top chat, even for me. I guess we should switch accounts and see what happens. So Extra Tone does meet the eligibility requirements for mobile live streaming. My other channel does not. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Well, since we're doing this, I might as well put the filters away please it's a pretty good view um let's do some fucking iOS 12 era keyboarding how about that Wow, it's almost like a, ooh, that's gross. Wait for it, yep, I'm always fucking vinegar Windex ready. Um, it's my life now, I spray it uh, on my food. <laughs> this, 
It's just never ideal. There it goes. Hmm. Well. One of the things um, that I have to show you about iOS 12, sorry, that, that uh, I, one thing, God, I'm so thankful that the control key does what it does now, which is if you hold control and tap, it's, it's a, you put one of a right click basically. Um, <clears throat> Uh, this is 12.5.5 on a uh, iPad Air 2. Um, this is the device that Federico Vitigi, um first said, uh, I'm going to, this is going to be my primary computer. I guess I don't know how much right I have to tell you much of that story but like uh it wasn't really an option so you could say that um need to be quite so high this is my streaming setup folks my code my ipad coding streaming setup deafening creaking Wow, I can't autofocus. Oh yeah, that was the thing about doing this. Uh, YouTube never fixed. Is that so, there's something fucked up with the focus? I forgot about that. Uh, it's absurd that it could be around long enough for me to have forgotten it and then remembered it several times. I I don't have my uh, thirty pin me unfortunately and this is getting about to die but i also have this and i've set it as close to what i remember um having on my 4s uh which is that fucking 9 11 background i know that for sure i know that i wrote and keyboarded a lot to day one um I've been doing this recently. Uh, but yeah, so like, everything is present on 12.5.5 to, like the basis of what people now call like iPad development or professional um, iPad fuckery is, it's all here. Um, this was the first year that Apple had integrated workflow. Uh, I wrote about that because I had no idea the workflow existed. And then I played around with shortcuts for about two minutes and realized that well, um, I was like, how, what the fuck? <laughs> like Apple does, yeah. Anyway, uh, I wrote about that a long time ago. It wasn't particularly informed. Um, I just like, look how much more vivid the colors are. Maybe that's petty, but like, it's not like it doesn't fit. It's not like it isn't tasteful or, you know, out of place. And it genuinely, like, helps. I guess I sh should continue. So this iPad Air 2 is, um, well, 
limited, you might say. Uh, this one was my mom's Pinterest machine for its whole life. Meaning it sat on her bedside table, idle, always running, but idle. And it was only used for Pinterest. Um, 16 gigabytes is not enough. Uh, as you can see, I've got a major issue with, with system files that will not come off the device. Uh, I've tried all the fixes, which is just a, basically, <laughs> I just explaining this to Linux people is always hilarious when you explain what you, uh, the steps that you take to solve a problem like sticky system files in an Apple operating system, which is like, you try to coax, you try to coax the, the, the thing to, um, to clear them, right? Uh, <laughs> I, I could probably hook it up to three tools and, and fuck it to death, but I, honestly, it's more interesting to me to, um, to, I don't, this, I don't use this for any sort of utility, it's, it's just a toy. Uh, I want to see if it's able to manage that, um, on its own. Uh, so, maybe this will be interesting to someone, I don't know. I have iCloud turned on on this device. Um, and iCloud Drive is turned on. But like, uh, being very selective about what has access to it um, for instance, if I were to turn that shortcuts toggle on, I have like 2,500 shortcuts. Uh, it's a huge mess. The SQLite file is, um, well, it's certainly the largest database file I've ever seen, uh, in that format. Um, I don't, I think, why is working copy on? I think maybe it stores credentials. Oh my god! What I should be doing is the his is like showing you copied. That's what I should be doing. Let's see what happens. Um, copied being like when I say it was the standard clipboard manager. It's not just that it was the standard; it's that I think it might be the most innovative manager I've ever seen anywhere. Sorry, I just do this because I, I don't have it on the iPhone, so uh, it's just nice to be able to push a button and get the answer to the question. Um, but yeah, copied, like, I have used it, or I used it for years, um, and honestly, like, I didn't appreciate it at all. Uh, I don't, I don't remember what I fucking used it for. I was such an idiot. I just never explored anything. Um, because I didn't have the time. Because I actually had a life. One thing. It's not very loud at all. That's a low. Is that tied to notification? Hang on. I'm assuming it is. Uh, my, maybe my favorite app sounds ever. Don't, I don't want it to be wide. Oh, I see what I'm doing. But not that. 
I don't think I've ever looked at copied in dark mode. What? What was that? <laughs> wow. Is that... I didn't know you could show the clipboard directly. Wow. God, it's good. It's just, it's not just that, okay? Um, it's so much more than that. I'm not being very articulate, I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> from the share sheet, you had a bunch of options, save to copied, copied clipper, which I think, um, I think the idea is that you select some text, not all of it. Don't work. <laughs> I don't remember if it has to be from the share sheet. I think it has to be from the share sheet up here. Yeah. Um, but the thing, I don't think I ever encountered this, and maybe it's not available on the iPhone. Is the copied browser. Uh, I need to read the docs on this because if, if they're still up. Um, I don't. Is it? I'm not sure if I understand the point, that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, um, I don't know, like, I guess this doesn't mean anything. Like, I have been wanting to, to like, actually document it because, uh, because it was so creative, and I kind of inadvertently became the person that was answering the question, uh, why isn't it on the App Store? Why isn't it being updated? Because I asked first, um, and the developer was like, uh, I could quote him verbatim. Um, it's in my notes somewhere, but I can't actually get to those right now because, yeah. Uh, like, there's a copyright issue. And, it, and he was just like, it's, I, he, oh yeah, he, and then he's like, get a refund from the app store. I'm like, dude, <laughs> I've been using this app has added so much to my life. I, I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was not enough. Um, the amount of innovation represented here. Uh, oh yeah, what I was saying is my current clipboard manager, Paste, is very pretty, but, uh, that's about it. And the amount of considerations uh, for it being like a competent clipboard manager on a non-Mac device, there's zero. I mean, there's like, there's zero accommodations, basically. Whereas this was like designed, appears to be designed from the ground up. Um, I forgot, I forgot this fucking menu. Holy shit. Look at all those export formats. What is whole? That must be something that I put in. Oh yeah, yeah, custom formats, right? Is there, how do I get to the settings again? Oh. 
Yeah, I never explored uh, this shit. Look, you can see the sink flashing. Um, that's so sad. I think I might just let you rest. Yeah. You just, you just chill. Uh. Oh my god, that one. The other way around. It would help me so much. Look at this. Is this gonna respond? Well, I've obviously. <laughs> I just, and I don't understand, because I know that, like, I brought, I brought it up in the Max Race Discord. Because they use copy. Because uh, you would if you have... There's just nothing else like this. Anywhere. I mean, like, I copy Q is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the reference standard clipboard manager on Windows. Uh, it's also on Mac now. Um, but, and it's scriptable and, and native and tough as hell and yada yada. But, like, it's a Windows app and it's old. And there, I mean, there's zero. This is sort of like the thing that I, everything that you would ask for in a clipboard manager on iOS, and it died. Some people have been like I, the people who have reached out to me. Uh, you know, were very like sad about it. Like, um, but it seems like everyone else kind of just accepted. I don't even think the Mac Stories guys bothered to ask. Uh, and I just I, what I don't understand the whole reason. I'm saying I'm saying all this is I don't understand how they could lose something so irreplaceable, lose a function so irreplaceable, um, as competent clipboard man. Like there is nothing else, nothing else manages clipboard like this, uh, and just not, and kind of just let it go. You know, like, um, let's see if the site's still up. It is. Um, whoops. <laughs> no. What is that? What address does it give? Fucking. This is not something that I miss. Please, please output the text. <laughs> Mail to you. I can't see. Is it Kevin? <sighs> Fuck. Okay, one more time. Oh yeah, where can we put this? Not there? Not there? Uh-oh. Am I still holding on? No. Anyway. <laughs> uh, what a, yeah, what a powerful and beautiful and well-considered application. It's just a shame that it Apparently, there's not going to be any replacement. Or, like, nothing like it. Uh, I think it, it has to be. The people have this weird sentiment about clipboard managers because um, I, the thing that I think I've distinctly gotten this exact phrase from multiple people in several in instances, just like, that is a keylogger. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> um... I promise you, uh, the like if I was being keylogged by someone maliciously, one hundred percent those logs would be way more valuable to me than they would be to anyone else. Maybe I don't know. Never makes. You're gonna ask me for one, right? Okay, I, I'm gonna stop messing around with that because it's. I keep it on all of my devices though. It's on a Mac. It's on my iPhone. I don't open it because. <laughs> Uh, it's just like Periscope, like, I, I, there's no other way, really, other than 
putting it in a bundle. Um, wow, I spent a lot of time on that. What was I going to show you? Uh, what's... Oh, the foundation being here. Um, I would love to just run that through that book with you. Uh, I'll just let Tweetbot be as pretty as it is while I try to come up with something coherent to say. Um, whoops! I love that. Oh yeah, I disoriented because, uh, you know, iPad folks so lucky. Can I change the? It's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Anyway, <laughs> if I actually tried to do a tutorial on anything, this is what it would be like because I would just be constantly getting tripped up uh, on stuff and then instead of moving on, I would uh, just keep going, see how far it takes me. <sighs> anyway, what was I saying? The foundations here of the, uh, I would love to show you drafts, but I, there's just not enough space. Um, but what I can tell you is that uh, drafts five, there is a version of drafts five. That's, of course there is. Uh, it's like 30 now. I, the, the versioning, I never bothered to actually find the story behind that. Um, you can use like, two semi-major feature releases ago, drafts, on 12.5.5. Um, I won't say that it's like, I mean, I fucking whip around the drafts on my phone, so like, oh yeah, I was gonna show you the Geekbit scores <laughs> of, uh, of this versus my phone. It's, and then versus my mother's uh, iPad Pro. Um, Uh, but my entire library, and I have a lot of fucking drafts actions, okay? Like, I have so, I continually, regularly discover drafts actions that I had no idea I had, and that's part of, like, playing fast and loose with, uh, Stephen Miller's tad library. But, like, that and all 2,000-something drafts, uh, on iCloud seemed to this in no more than 10 minutes, which is fucking nuts. Um, like my whole life sinks to this in, in, in uh, let's see. Oh yeah, go at least for face ID when it's not here. I'm so good at using the computer, and I'm sure you've noticed that. There's my desktop PC. My big tower for me, my big powerful tower. Uh, here's the iPad here. Fucking, I mean, just versus my mother's iPad Pro. Uh, I don't actually understand these scores, but like, I understand the number and God damn. Uh, the, I guess the notable thing is that this is so much more 
elegant in the way that it deals with the fact that it's resource limited. Like, um, and maybe it doesn't look like it. Oh, I should maybe turn reduce motion off system wide, which I've never done, I don't think. Um, then we get to that cartoon, but it's not nearly as bad as it is now. I just, like, revisiting 12.5.5 has been kind of aggravating. Uh, this device, um, I, I think it's a big thing, a big thing that I cannot overstate is how much the animations have, how excessive they've gotten. Um, I think that's like a lot of it. Because uh, like this, that's not what it looks like anymore. Oh boy, I'm not very good at this anymore, if I ever was. Can you read images? I don't remember. I've been playing around with editorial. Um, which uh, I knew it existed. That's it. I didn't have any idea, frankly, how much of a predecessor to drafts it is, and like how much drafts is obviously inspired by it. Because you have notes, which are called documents. And you have actions, which are configured with action steps. You know what, I think this is, we can go, woo, very good at using the computer. Uh, and yeah, so I'm pretty sure editorial is to drafts as Sort of. Sort of like how I've been arguing drafts is to Obsidian, which is like, we already took care of it. We already did this. We already accomplished this in a more robust way. Why? Why? Oh, why are you departing this? For, for a system that you just have to develop core solutions all over again for uh, no conceivable advantage other than file storage access? Maybe. Clearly, I won't talk about Obsidian. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, someone pointed out to me today on Mastodon, <clears throat> well, their sentiment that they had to express when I brought up editorial was like, such a shame that that app's been abandoned. And, um, it's sort of, I mean, it is, uh, I think that, like, in order for editorial, like, frankly, um, I would consider, from what I've learned in the past week and a half or so, what I've been able to do, I would consider editorial a genuinely competitive automated text editor still, even though it hasn't had any updates and uh, any like actual feature updates in more than two years. Um, and that was kind of like, you know, but it, it's not abandoned in the sense that, like, I mean, everything works. Um, everything that, like, makes sense to work. Okay, what I was saying is, if you were going to pick up development again, uh, like, the whole architecture of, it would be, like, the difference between drafts 3 and drafts 5. It would be, like, a huge, it would be rebuilding the application again. And, like... So the story actually is that uh, Zorn, the dude, uh, 
built Pythonista, which is, um, I don't think I've ever actually played around with it, but I, it's just an incredible manifestation of Python on an iOS device, which I don't think anyone, well, clearly people wanted. Um, and then editorial was a spinoff, editorial, Federico wrote a book about it. It was just in formative uh, in so many ways. Oh, I can show you what I can do with it now. Just playing around with the actions. Uh, I set up a lot of the same keyboard integration as I have in drafts. So I have an option P. What does that do? Uh, it sends the selected text to Sweetbot. And then we go back, but that's not... Uh, and then... I don't actually... Did I map it? No, I didn't map, map it to option O, because that's still fucked on 12.5.5. Is it... If it's proper, it should be control shift O. Well, let's see. I, am I? Did I never share this? I'm definitely the first post on posts on the uh, workflow sharing site, this workflow sharing site, in two years. This. There you are. I had to use my iPhone 4S to put these on there. Which I'm assuming just means that it's been disabled intentionally. Okay. <sighs> Woo. Yeah. Whoops. That should be it. This is some of the core things that I have in my iPhone and drafts. That's why I use drafts to launch a lot of things because I have extensive text expander snippets that don't expand anywhere else, but uh, they do an editorial, or at least they would if I had, if I could afford the space of this device. And the resources, I think the uh, text expander takes a lot of RAM. Um, what's the other thing? Uh, the, yeah, using your schemes to, to search places. Oops. Oh, and then I set up a, there's even sounds. Shift command S does a forced drop block sync, supposedly. Um, I can't explain to you why. The audio notifications make so much sense. <sighs> I wish we were asleep. Um, and but I don't think they don't seem to to anyone else. Uh, yeah. That, is there any value in what I just said? No. <laughs> um. Uh, this. Nope. That one's good too, though. See, this dictionary would be so amazing. If I could copy that. But I can't. Ah. Why would you want the, yeah. Series. Um. Yeah, I just need to stop because I can't speak. What was the other thing? 
Oh, yeah. Fucking crazy scripting. Oh, this is this is the level to which you need support because this UI element is just so tiny. I don't know how to fix it. Uh-oh. Uh, I just accidentally imported something. Or not. My back hurts like an old fucking man. Uh, I guess we. Let's see, let's want to do one more thing. I don't remember the shortcut that up. I didn't, so it's a good thing I have. In live journal, dude. Let's do that. I think Federico might ha just be the first person to whom it ever occurred, for better or for worse, that you could just use the scripting in an application like this to, um, live out of it even if like script things that are completely unrelated to it uh and have it still make sense must have 2014 that's very pretty oh dear Oh, that's a list that he set up, I see. God damn, dude. If I have one criticism of Federico, and that's... I don't know, it doesn't mean anything considering him, but... The extent to which he has managed to teach himself... He's like... I don't know, he's done hugely incredible things with these platforms that no one has even come close to. Oh dear. Ooh. I can't believe that I <laughs> I've left my phone unplugged. Did I just see I just saw it's eighty seven percent. I <laughs> This is not the most uh, battery consuming task I regularly ask of my phone then. <laughs> Damn, I did it again. What can I show you? Periscope is no longer, coder is still the, somehow, I thought I, saw a recommended YouTube video the other day and I made the mistake of actually clicking on it. Um, that was trying coding on the iPad for a week or something. <laughs> I just, I think it's funny and telling that um, the very first app that he brings up, uh, I don't know why, why do people make fucking YouTube videos like this? He literally was like, so I went on the app store and I searched developer tools and this is like the first thing that came up. So I downloaded it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not gonna open that. What was I doing? No. Can't. What? Oh. 
I don't actually know what I'm doing right now. Somehow. But, uh... God, not being able to unzip files. Don't think that's what I need. Definitely not what I need. What am I trying to do? Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. I... Fucking coder. Still. Um, ends up being what people try. It's a very quaint app, in my opinion. To me. <laughs> in that, uh... Hmm. I guess generally accepted ways of, like, layouts for quote-unquote developable applications like this either did not occur <laughs> to this developer or they've never been exposed to it or they intentionally wanted to do something uh, against all convention. Um, yeah, now I'm just messing around. I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta shut up. Uh, but it's it's incredible to me. This is the live web dev site on which I have behind the scenes. Uh, I that's a good one to open. <laughs> Forty to hundred hertz. It's not a good one to open. I don't know why I said that. Ah, uh, here we go. This is light loading live off of a web dev server. Why is this not playing? Oh. Has been triggered. A bozo Warning, this is an emergency alert. A bozo level automation has been triggered. A bozo a level a automation a has been triggered. A bozo level has been triggered. Okay, I'm done, I think. I'm done.